welcome to a celebrity psychic medium, Tony Green. Yep, I just added another word in there today. Every time I do the show, I just change the title, add in words, take out words. It's all good. Y'all know where we are today. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Here we go. So first of all, it's January. No snow on the ground and it's raining outside. Yes, I'm this girl's happy. This girl's happy. I know there are a lot of people in my area. Where's the snow? In California. Go get it in California. It's in California mountains. Go get it. Okay, no, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, well, I'm not joking. There is snow in the California mountains, but no, no, no. Don't go get it there. Don't go to California right now. Um, so a few um, little announcements for those of you who are new or those of you who may not have heard the announcements before. First and foremost, I do not, I do not, do not, will not, don't want to do any sort of messenger on any sort of social media. Not on Facebook, not on Instagram, not on TikTok. If I can shut off the messaging, I shut it down. If I can't shut it down and people can send messages, I just don't get them. I don't read them. I don't. Um, I When I went on TikTok the first day, I had over like, like this stupid number of messages um, of people asking me if I wanted to be a sugar baby. First of all, sirs. Sirs, I did not know there was a shortage of sugar babies out there because I know a ton of girls wanting to be sugar babies. Second of all, I am a full-on woman. And sugar women are a whole different category than sugar babies. Mm. I don't, like I've said before, I don't need a purse. I can buy my own purse. Although if you would like to buy me a multi-unit complex where I can collect rents, we can talk. Just saying. Oh, you only want to give out bags? Go. Anyway, just joking on that. Just joking. Calm down. Calm down. It's a joke. Um, anyway, uh, no, I am not on any messenger. I do not get messages on any social media. So if anybody reaches out to you on social media messages, it's not this girl or woman. It's not this person. Okay. It's not. I am not that person. I am not doing it. Okay. Second, um, I will never reach out to you on social media. Never, ever. Because uh, I have a website and everybody who wants a session reaches out to me through the website or through my business number. My website is T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. It's the only site I have. It has all of my stuff on it. If you want a book, all the information and instructions are right on that site. Okay? Okay. Um, I want to say hi to everybody online and say out. Um, Genevieve, Terry, Heather, thank you so much for being here. I'm so grateful everybody's here with me. Okay, you guys, these songs have been crazy in my head, and I hope I can remember them all. So for those of you who are new, when songs come through to me, um, and they're like playing over and over again, um, they're typically for someone who is listening now or will be listening later. Please remember this show airs on YouTube and on every podcast, radio stations and television stations and streaming stations. So, uh, the first song is Wicked Game. Oh, guys, what a wicked game you play to make me feel that way. And I yeah, I'm so sorry for that. Don't want to fall in love. I don't even know if I'm singing the words right, but I do recall that song. And man, I love 
that's that it's like a sexy kind of song but for somebody that song has been playing through my head over and over again for somebody out there uh somebody from the other side is uh, giving you that song either because that's a song you loved they loved or is the answer to a question that you have going on right now the other song is um no, I can't even say all those words on air. I I don't even know those words. Okay, I think the song goes, I don't give up mm, if you don't give up mm, and we don't give up mm. And mm is not the word. If you know the song, you know the song. <laughs> if, if you know if you know the song, you know the song. And then there's another song, and the only line I'm hearing. And this has to be a message from somebody over there to somebody here. There's just one word I'm hearing, and I hope you get the song from this shorty. I can't even. I can't even. I don't even. I don't. I if I heard the song, I might know it. But the only word I'm hearing right now is shorty. I don't even know how to say it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not. I can barely like sing the alphabet, folks. I can really not even sing the alphabet. So they're hilarious when they make me sing. Okay. So yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, hey, Mo, how are you? Um, and there was one other song. It was, it was, it was an incredibly much older song and I'm it's not coming to me right now but when it does I will bring it to you toot sweet so that you can have it um some of the names of the people on the other side that want to say something um there's a again a Kyle Kyle now this could be the name of the person on the other side or the name of the person here but Kyle Kyle is on the, and Kyle was a bit younger. I believe Kyle was a bit younger. Um, a little bit of lighter hair. I'm not saying like a little bit of lighter hair and younger. Um, whew, okay. And then um, there's an Amelia who was an, I believe an older, like a, a kind of an, a, uh, an Amelia who was, uh, there's an Amelia and then I'm seeing a grandma here. So I'm thinking Amelia might have been an older, um, an older woman when she passed. Okay. So if either of those people, um, they want to say they love you and they're watching out for you and to let you know they're making their presence known. Oh, we're going to start with a clearing and a clearing. And thank you so much for, um, for, uh, the, the 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 message in the chat and this clearing is for stress so can't we all use that like a cl to clear out some of the stress we're experiencing right now okay so um all stress has been cleared i get a no so let's start clearing and healing that all that caused this and kept this and keeps it coming has healed and cleared i get a no so let's clear and heal that Excuse me. Huh. There we go. Okay. I'm going to start taking callers. And uh, before I do, hey, Stevie, I love you. I hope you're having a good day. As I take callers, when I call your area code, <clears throat> please tell us your name and where you're calling from. And um, have an exact question or connection available. Um, and if you, oh my gosh, what is happening to my brain right now, right? What, where, where is, where's the rest of my sentence going? <laughs> it just disappeared like that. Okay, have an exact question or connection available. Um, if you want to connect with a loved one, I just need their first name, their relationship to you, and any conversation or information you would have wanted to have. If you are not... Um, loving the answer I give. Remember, if you're asking about a future event, it's a predictive question and uh, only time will tell. But second, please don't 
use me to argue with spirit. I'm not making these answers up. They come from spirit. If you don't like the answer, let's talk about it. But, you know, I can explain it further. But I'm not going to argue with spirit for you. Um, and if you think I'm wrong, that's okay. I don't care that you think I'm wrong or spirit is wrong. Uh, just let's just all wait and see. Okay. All righty. Here we go. I'm going to go to the first caller. The first caller is 216. 216, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Hello. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. My name is Sharon. Okay. You where, can hear me okay? I can. Sharon, where are you calling from? From the state of Ohio. Excellent. And how can I help you today? I just want to see um, what you see coming up for me with my career this year. There's been changes. Someone's sick and she's out right now. She's going to be out for another few weeks. I just see what you see coming up for me. I do enjoy my job, by the way. <laughs> I got it later in life. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not going to do a whole year reading for you. That's something you can do in a private session. That's a little bit better. Um, but I will tell you, as far as work goes, it looks good. I, I'm sorry for the person in your office who's sick. I do feel like it is going to be hectic as you go through the next couple of months um, and a little bit of chaos, but everything will smooth out and be okay. Um, I do feel like there are going to be some changes changes in your workplace but these are strategic changes nothing bad nothing ominous just very uh, like strict very strategic changes that the upper people will are hoping will help everybody it, it, for whatever that means okay i do feel like every again a little bit of chaos, a little bit of stress going on there. But for the most part, everything, as long as you are go along and get along, everything will be good at work. Um, and I do feel like um, the person who's out is on the fence about, are they going to go back? Yeah. Yeah, they will come back eventually. But but they, they right now they're they're having to face some issues. I mean, really going through it, sort of thing. So um, that is what I'm getting. It should be okay. Every as long as you keep doing what you're doing, I, I just keep. I hear that statement. Keep like keep your nose to the something grindstone and and like yeah. keep your head down, Grind. walk forward, yeah. just do your job and don't. Don't, um, and somebody is jokingly saying like, and don't blow the place up. Everything will be fine. <laughs> I'm like, that's, I know, but that's, I know. That's, and you know, it's, I feel so, I know that was perfect. I didn't mean to be so vague, but you answered it perfectly. The woman that's out, I really feel bad for her. I know sometimes she can be dramatized. She likes drama, but she, her appendix burst. It's no serious. It, it's serious. She's been in the hospital over a week now. She's not going anytime soon. I just feel bad for her. I do. Yeah. And I do feel like there's going to be, um, I, I'm not going to speak to her condition at all because, you know, but I am going to tell you she might be out a little bit longer than people expect. But I do feel it's, it, it is going to be a little bit chaotic at work, but all of that is going to fade away soon. Um, and it, it's just going to be like two, three more months of a little bit of chaos. And then it should be a pretty much a smooth sailing sort of situation. And you will be, um, you will be, um, and then, the, and then everything will get, get much, much better. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. You're so welcome. And I thank you so much for calling in. And I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of the day. You as well. Thank you so much. Okay, you have a good day too. You too. Thank you. I'm going to go directly to 520. 520, what's your name? Where are you calling from?
520. Okay, and I'm going to go to the next caller who is 210. 210, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi there, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Pearl. Pearl from Texas. Hey, Pearl, how are you? I'm doing good. I called in a, a few weeks ago, and you talked about someone that might be a shyster in my life. I think my uh, my mom brought this person to. I was going to see if you could kind of help me clarify a little more about that. Okay. Do you think the shyster is already in your life? Yeah, I, I think the person might be. So I'm, I'm really curious if you can cap in on that same vibe and tell me a little more. So the first, yeah. the first song I hear is let it go, let it go. <laughs> okay, so for all of you who spent years trying to get your that song out of your head, I apologize. Uh, what I'm hearing is, um, I don't know why I'm hearing this. It might mean something to you, but credible witness, which I don't know if that's good or bad, but this person that's uh, your the person you're thinking might be maybe not so ethical, maybe not so whatever. I'm just going to say, trust your gut because you are 1 million percent correct. Um, and you, um, again, let it just let this go. Don't, don't F around and find out. That's what I'm hearing. You don't need to prove yourself right. You don't need to be in that space where you're like, well, I'm really not sure. So I'm going to just keep going until I get the evidence. You know what? I'm going to just say this. Trust your gut because every single time we try to give somebody the benefit of the doubt until we have the evidence, we are the only ones that get spanked and not in that good spanking way. That's all I'm saying. Not in that like, ooh, kind of way. It's not a good spanking. So I'm going to say, trust your gut, walk away. Um, there's no need to hold on to something that's already giving you uh, shifty energy, if you know what I mean. And you know what I mean, don't you, Pearl? Yeah. I think that's exactly, I think you just nailed me. I, I was looking for more evidence. So I think that's true. Because we're taught, so, yeah. we are, we're taught like, oh, don't, don't judge people. Give them the benefit of the doubt. Be so, and no, not anymore. You come correct or you don't come. Right. I mean, I'm just saying if oh. so many times, what if we're in a place where we're already thinking that or feeling that, that means they've done something that we are in denial about or that we um, have um, experienced in the past and we let it go and we're letting it go again because it's normal and natural in relationships for us. So we have to like say, nope, if I have this feeling, if I'm questioning this, I'm going to I'm I'm just gonna trust that, and I'm gonna let it let it out. I'm gonna, uh, and then I'm hearing that song, "Who Let the Dogs Out." So that should tell you everything. <laughs> that just uh, okay. that so should tell you so everything, you say, Pearl. Say, who let the dogs out? So he's, uh, and then I'm hearing, "Roof." <laughs> so just. Poof, poof, he, he ain't your man. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pearl. They are coming with full, um, they're bringing this in in such a lighthearted, comical way. It's difficult to take it seriously, but take it seriously. Um, I'm going to tell you, let this one go. It's like when you catch a fish that's too small and you just have to throw it back. So when you say shyster, it means that somebody's withholding money. 
And so will I discover where this is, what, is, what this is? Um, actually, when I say shyster, I don't really give it a definition. I don't know if that's the actual je definition of shyster. Um, I think somebody with shysty behavior is just somebody who's like not coming with good character and integrity. They might be playing games. They might be, um, they might be somebody whose intentions are not honorable or whose intentions are um, to just like maybe use somebody. They're not in it for the long run, just, you know, a short, short fun. They're not in it for, um, you know, they're just, they're trying to kind of get one over, if that makes sense to you, Pearl. Yes. Perfect sense. Okay. okay. That's, that's good clarification. And I think, you know, a lot of times when we use a defining word, we can't be really very literal about it. We have to be a little, um, like a little open about the possible definition of it in being that like if if a word comes out, like there are a lot of words that come through me from spirit that I have no idea what they mean. But the person that is receiving the word understands the word the way it's meant, but not to its true definition. Thank you. So just keep that in mind, um, even if you're listening for for somebody at, to to somebody else's reading. To keep that in mind. And you guys, do you see the lights flashing again? I have, like, I wish I could turn the camera and show you. There's absolutely not one light on, no cars going down the street, nothing. So that flashing is spirit saying, hey, how's your day? Um, so, okay, I hope that was helpful, Pearl. I really, really hope that was helpful for you. Thank you. Absolutely, my pleasure. Thank you. Very helpful. Thank you very much. You are so welcome. You are so, so very, very welcome. Um, and there was something I was going to say, but I can't remember what it was. Um, if you have a question, oh, if you are watching, okay, uh, 916, you are next. If you are watching on... Um, uh, listening on a podcast or watching on one of the television or streaming channels and you want to join us live, I go live every Monday and Wednesday at noon. And I did set up a show for this Saturday at 10 p.m. So I hope you all come and join me um, and you can join us live. You can chat in the chat. You can call in. The call in number is 845-277-9131. So here we go to 916. 916, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Ray and I'm calling from California. Hey, Ray, how are you today? I'm doing swell. How's your Martin Luther King Jr. Day treating you? Ah, amazing. Simply amazing. <laughs> How can I help you? Yeah, so I was just wondering if you could help me out uh, more specifically with, uh, with love life. Okay. Um, you know, I'm, I'm single. Um, I, you know, I think I have my career under me. And, you know, I, I'm just really curious if you see anything in the short term or whatever term you see. Okay, um, so Ray, I'm just going to tell you what I get as I get it, and hopefully it will make sense to you. It might not come out in the okay. order of whatever, okay? So the first, okay. the first word I hear is Connecticut. Now, that's kind of weird. You're in California, but I'm going to just keep going. I don't know if that means you were in Connecticut at one time. She is in Connecticut or originally was from Connecticut. You're going to meet her on a business trip. Or maybe in the past you were with somebody from Connecticut and it, you know, I don't know. Um, but the next thing I hear is June. So in June. Okay. Okay, um, 
in June, anything you are invited to, no matter how um, seemingly difficult it might be to get to it or inconvenient or whatever, anything you're invited to in June, whether it be business, pleasure, family, whatever, um, make your best attempt to do it to get there. I feel like in June, you are going to be in a situation, weird word, but I'm going to go with it, in a situation where you are in a either or, either I can do this, or I can do that, either I do this, or like maybe either I go to this business thing, or whatever, whatever it is, do the go go and do it go wherever it is whatever it is go okay in june there's going to be the opportunity for some travel to come in or some i don't i don't i don't know what it is that's coming in but i do know i feel like it's it's something where people will be there and you will be um around around people that are not native i don't know that's the word they're giving me and you will be um and you will be having the the if you get that opportunity go whatever it is go um who's ever bringing this whomever is bringing this message through they're not they're intentionally not giving a lot of details. Now, let me just say this. It may not be something that you necessarily, if there is the opportunity to leave your area and go someplace else and do this, do it. However, it may be something in your area that people from all over come to and participate in. Either way, whatever opportunities come through in June, do it. I feel like you're going to meet this person in an environment where there are a lot of people who are from all over. Oh, all of that to get that out. Seriously, though. Come on now. So that is what they have for you. And I feel like it's in June. And then, um, yeah. And, and, and so just please, if you get the opportunity, go for it in June, okay? And even if it's outside of your area. Okay. Definitely. Okay. 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 Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You are so welcome. And I'm sorry that was so like stammering, but that's just the way it came through. Nothing I can do about okay. that. I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you so much for calling in. And I love each and every one of you. And I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. I'm so grateful for every second that you spend with me here. Um, I know that time is precious. It's all we have. So I honor um, the time that you spend joining me in the show, whether it's live or a replay. Thank you so much for that. Until Wednesday, have an absolutely amazing day. And um, yeah, I think that's everything, right? I'll be back on Wednesday. Thank you guys so much.